Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna give you some really quick and easy tips on how you can transform your room into your home away from home. Depending on where you're going to uni and where you're staying, what you get in your uni room might be a bit different from person to person and from place to place. But in most cases, you really start with an empty shell and you have to make it your own. So the first thing I did is add a load of photos of my family, my friends, of places I've been to, some cute quotes I resonated with. And I did this because adding your personal photos instantly makes your room yours. I think overall I paid about a tenner for them so they really don't have to be expensive and I think it turned out pretty cool. So the second thing I added were some posters. Your uni might do some poster sales throughout the year but these are also quite easy to find in local shops as well as online. I think posters instantly add more character to a room because you can really choose the posters you like and they really show your personality. So they can be movie posters and be like I like quotes, it could be anything, really. Anything. Ah, almost anything. The third thing you can do is add some decorative pillows and throws to your bed just to make it a bit more homely and cozy. For me, I already had my duvet and pillows and bed sheets, so I didn't really have to worry about that. But you know, you could add some really nice ones as well. The next thing you can do is add some greenery to your room. So I've added one real one and one fake one, just to show you that you could do both or either or. If you think you will just kill the pants, then you know, there are some really good fake options available. But I do think that real ones are a bit nicer just because they add a bit of liveliness to your room. And also some plants actually purify, but do all plants purify air? I'm not sure, but some of them actually like say like, purifies air and they're actually quite good to keep in the bedroom because obviously you go to sleep in there you spend a lot of time in there and if you don't necessarily open your windows very often then having some plants to like refresh the air in there is really good another thing i did is add a laundry basket obviously you need somewhere to put your dirty clothes you don't want to have them all scattered around your room you don't really want to have that chair even though we're all guilty of that um especially in uni but having a laundry basket at least, you know, tempts you to put it in one place, tucked away until you can bear to wash them all. And last but not least, another great thing you can do to make your room your home away from home is add mementos. I think throughout uni, you collect a lot of little things like tickets, Polaroid photos, other types of photos, little cards, birthday cards, Christmas cards, so I created a designated area to collect all the mementos I got throughout the year. And, you know, as I said, these were tickets, um, cute little cards, anything really. Now you've probably come to the end of this video and you're thinking, Laurie, where are those fairy lights? And yes, fairy lights are a really good way to make your room instantly more cozy and a bit more magical, uh, but mine didn't arrive in time for this video. So um, if you want some, you know, go ahead and get some. Do check with your accommodation um, if you need to get specific ones because in some accommodation you're only allowed to have battery powered ones so please do check that because i do not want to get you in trouble so these were my really quick and easy tips on how you can make your room your home away from home i really hope you like this video if you've got any tips of your own please leave them down below in the comments um, as I said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.